Hey, what's up? I'm KBHD here. Welcome back to a brand new video, and we got a little bit of an exclusive for you today, which are always fun. Now, look, we're always talking about new pieces of tech on this channel, but you gotta take a step back sometimes and think, and just remember how smart some of the AI in this tech is getting. Like, we just saw the Boston Dynamics robot dog and even their newest packaging robot. But this stuff, this is next level. So today, I'm reviewing the most advanced tech I've looked at yet on this channel. I'm reviewing the newest edition Mac, one of one colorway, which is, it's kind of this unique thing, like one of the Rimax from that last Dope Tech video where every single one is different. This is a one of one, but it's super cool. Let's get into it. So we've had this new Mac at the studio through its development for a couple years now, through several software updates. We've actually had a pretty big hand in the development of it, and we've put it through its paces tested the hardware, the software, and the features, and there's a lot to it. So if you're one of the lucky people actually considering getting this model or one like it, well then this video is for you. So actually when we first got the Mac here at the studio, it was lightly used, it wasn't original, it didn't have the original packaging, uh, so we didn't get to do an on-camera unboxing, but that's fine. When you first get them, they actually have way less features, and then you sort of get to uh, evolve them over time. So first of all, basic specs. This is the mid-sized version in the mocha cream color, about 30 pounds. Fun fact too, every unit sold is a unique colorway, like I said, and a lot of them look like pretty similar, but there was lots of small details on each unit that will be just a little bit different and appreciated by the person who gets it. Then this model has a soft touch finish that actually slowly changes over time. And overall, I'd say build quality is solid. It's sturdy. Uh, it's pretty easy to wash, although I'd recommend taking it to a certified cleaner they usually do a better job. So the Mac didn't come with any sort of uh, screen protector or case or bumpers or anything like that, but I've generally found you don't actually need one. They're pretty sturdy and well-built without one. But if you do get one, just know that they're a pretty rough sizing model. It's not the same exact cutouts for every single one, but if you get one, just make sure yours doesn't cover the ventilation system at the front or the exhaust system at the back. So you've got a bunch of sensors up at the front. And this is where the action happens. So there's dual monochrome sensors with autofocus assist by this middle sensor that the manufacturer calls a snout sensor, but it seems to operate the exact same way that laser autofocus does, meaning it just helps the main sensors. So like if you covered it up, it, it would still work. It could still take in the surroundings, but it's kind of just like the same as laser autofocus. Uh, also, there's a pair of microphones, one on either side for audio processing for voice commands. So all these sensors put together help the Mac to navigate surroundings and not bump into things as it moves around its environment. So I just wanna say battery life is okay, but it's not amazing. It's really not great. A lot of these new technologies we give a pass because they're so novel and so cool that we'll focus on battery life in later generations. This one, you need to charge by the end of the day, every time. Uh, the way you charge isn't necessarily how you'd expect. There is no USB port. I looked, trust me. Uh, but there are a bunch of other ways to potentially charge up. So it's got fast charging in the form of this energy transfer with any number of first party made for Mac materials. And they're great, you can literally just buy a box of them. But of course, there are a bunch of other materials that they say you're not supposed to power it with, but if you're in a pinch, they'll technically still work. They're just not quite as efficient. Probably the safest way to power the Mac is the optional wireless charging pad. It doesn't come with this, but I would highly recommend it. It's pretty convenient for charging up overnight, and the software even has this sweet built-in auto docking feature where it automatically returns to the charging pad when the battery gets low, and the sensors turn off, the software goes to sleep. It's just kind of this slower overnight trickle charge, but it's a stable one. So the rest of the software is pretty solid. Uh, from what I gather, they're all programmed just a little bit differently. This one's programmed with the best friend security guard features. Uh, slightly different for every model, but it works. So it's programmed to identify a few best friends and then guard those best friends from outside threats. So when we got into the studio, all the AI and the sensors immediately looked over the environment, identified the entryways, and just went into protection mode. So I guess that's how it delivers out the box. And it's very consistent. Every delivery, every visitor, every person walking past the door, alarm system, max volume. <laughs> But everything else runs, as you might expect, through voice controls, kind of like any other piece of tech probably would in 2021. So it's got these mics on either side and it's got the trigger phrase. So you just say, hey Mac, get them. 
and it knows the trigger phrase, and it's the processing time has gotten shorter over the years through software updates, which is dope. But there are some quirks. So first of all, it can take a while to install new programs, sometimes days, sometimes weeks, especially games, and sometimes you have to reinstall them a few times before they work, but eventually the AI gets it. And there is this weird bug where the fetch game force quits in the middle of the game for no reason. Not sure why, but maybe that can be fixed through a patch. Then Mac also has a high performance sport mode where everything just flies. But if you're gonna use that mode, just know you're gonna be cruising through the battery. So you'll for sure have to charge at least once to make it through the end of the day after that. Still pretty worth it to use this mode every once in a while because the Mac is way more enjoyable to own when you got this mode. But most of all, I think future versions are gonna wanna work on this sensor layout. I mean, the audio is pretty great and visual pickup is nice, but I feel like there's so much data going in that the OS isn't quite processing at all. Maybe it just needs more RAM, I guess, don't we all? But like sometimes the snout sensor will lock on to one thing and then throw off the whole rest of the autofocus system. Sometimes if you give it the wrong type of energy too many times, the AI learns and starts thinking it's seeing energy all over the place through those sensors and it basically prioritizes all those false positives over everything else, trying to keep its battery full. Sometimes you'll give it a single voice command through the triggers and it will just blast through a series of commands like there's some sort of a script loop in the software and it can be a lot. Now when it does run hot, there is an active cooling system up front like I mentioned and it does make a little bit of noise sometimes, usually not too bad in this particular model. Some other models are way noisier um, and might expel a little bit of water, but other than that, it's fine. It, it might just sound a little weird if you're not expecting it, but it's fine. But I gotta say, the best friend mode is flawless. Some would argue it's the least important mode. I'd argue it's the most important. It can keep you company, hang out with you, and I'd actually say this mode is flawless. Some people have reservations about an AI keeping them company. I think this one's great. And if you're ever in doubt that the system isn't running smoothly, that huge slider on the back acts as a digital well-being indicator. So basically the faster it's moving, the happier that AI is. I'm no expert like we rate dogs, but I'd like to think Mac is at least an 11 out of 10. So that's been it. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy April Fool's Day in case you haven't looked at the date below yet. This has been the review of Mac that everyone's wanted for so long. Yes, that's its actual name. Uh, this is your annual reminder not to take anything you read on the internet today too seriously. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's up? I'm KBHD here, and yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs>